You know what it's like, you're on a YouTube marathon disappearing down a black hole when suddenly an interesting video pops up in the recommended video section. Interesting. With 70% of YouTube's traffic being driven by the recommended videos feature, it begs the question, how can you get on this and get your videos promoted by YouTube itself? Well, that's why we're here. So let's forget hum day because Wednesdays are about to get giant. Hello, my name is Luke and welcome to Giant Wednesdays, the place to be to discover the wonderful world of digital marketing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and post your comments below. So if you're watching this video, you'll know that YouTube recommended videos sit on the right hand side, on desktop and down there on the mobile. So how does YouTube decide what you might want to watch? Firstly, let's break down exactly what YouTube is actually showing you. Number one, suggested videos, something from the creator of the video you're currently watching. Number two, related videos, the videos that are similar to the ones that you're watching currently, but made by other people. And three, recommended videos. These are based on purely you, your viewing history, and any other data that Google has on your interests. So what's the big deal about getting your video to appear here? Good question, Luke. Well, a large majority of viewership on YouTube is driven through the videos that sit in the column, so it's kind of the place to be. In fact, 70% of the time a user spends on YouTube is spent watching recommended videos. So what can you do to make the videos available for YouTube's algorithm, the video gods, or the powers that be to allow them to feature in the recommended section on YouTube? So the important things to remember here are watch time, relevancy, the amount of comments and likes that you get, and the audience's viewing history. There are of course more factors, but Google isn't one to share a step-by-step -step guide to dominating all its algorithms because, well, where's the fun in that? Here are three things that you can be doing to get ahead. Number one, encourage engagement. By engagement, we're talking about likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. All these things can be seen as an emotional response to the video that the user is watching, and YouTube can associate the level of relevancy to this reaction. Simple, right? Encourage engagement through calls to action like, like what you see? Subscribe to our channel to get more unique content. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my shirt choice. And it's important to note that all engagement can be relevant to this metric, good or bad, likes or dislikes, yays or nays, whoops or dupes. Yeah, weird. Number two, YouTube video titles. These titles can do three things. Encourage people to click on your videos, tell the algorithm which videos are relevant to each other, and secure high ranking spots in the search results for a particular keyword. So make your titles juicy, enticing, relevant, and stand out. Find out what people are searching for that's similar to your video content by using tools like AdWords Keyword Planner, um, Answer the Public, Google Trends, or the autocomplete search bar within Google itself, and name your video accordingly. Make it appropriate to people, not robots. You might be trying to impress this fancy algorithm, but the people are the ones that you want to be watching the video, really. Three, tasteful thumbnails. These are the first visual taste of your video content that the user is going to get. So making them compelling, striking, and exciting is probably the way to go. What's important to remember is that relevance is key. If you mislead someone with a thumbnail and they click away from your video as soon as it starts, it will affect the way the algorithm reads your video. So a few tips on creating thumbnails for your channel. Consistency is key. Use similar and recognizable colors, font sizes, styles, and format. Brand it with a logo or something that will let them know the video is by you. And make sure that you can read or work out what your thumbnail is when it's gonna be at its smallest format. YouTube even suggests you think of your thumbnail before you shoot. Nice advice. There are many more things that you can do to make the algorithm favor your content, but it's best to start with these three things. And of course, remember to measure the success of the things that you're doing by looking at YouTube's analytics on a regular basis so you can learn from what you're doing. So that's it for today. Go forth and share your comments or views. And of course, give us a like and subscribe to our channel and all the things I've been telling you to do during this video, because then you will get to see more awesome content every week that we will be making on Giant Wednesdays. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Giant Wednesdays. <laughs>